we're headed back to Aurora. This is the definition of insanity. Do you think they know how many times I've attacked them? I'm really sorry, Zack. I'm sure Dandolo would have preferred to keep us all in Noctis. It makes me uncomfortable, but we can't keep Noctis under Victor's crosshairs. He wouldn't hesitate to wipe it off the face of Mars just to get his hands on you. I don't know about that. Big Bad Victor is definitely a manipulative rat, but he's gonna have a lot of trouble wiping out a city like Noctis using a couple of harebrained schemes. To think, after all these years, I'm forced to join the enemy. Disconcerting, to say the least. I don't want to make light of a bad situation, but doctors and scientists are welcome there with open arms. And pathetic drunks? How are they welcome? Do the corporations differ all that much? I know you were raised to think so, but as a mutant, I only see humans bickering over petty squabbles. The differences don't matter now, especially since they're welcoming you with open arms. Supposedly, technomancers are treated well. Here's the truth. I know this transition's gonna be hard for you. Aurora may ask you to fight against your former corporation. You may end up on the battlefield against men and women you knew from before. And at least there's no chance of coming up against an old Technomancer buddy, because they're all with you. Well, except for that Snake Allen. That doesn't really matter, right? What bothers me is that they're gonna commandeer my baby. I don't want you, Zack. I like you, but if they try to take my rover, I'm out. So fucking out! Me and my rover or nothing. Release him. Let him serve as our messenger. I hope, Zachariah, that you'll forgive this little charade. But it was a means to an end, necessary to ensure peace of mind, the safety of Noctis, and those who will now welcome you. The ASC now believes you uprooted yourself to Aurora, where they will never go looking for you. So, keep a low profile here, and you'll have nothing to fear. I hope that suits your needs. To send you to Aurora was never really an option. The political climate is not exactly conducive to a Technomancer. And here you have Phobos, who's offered to open the doors of his home to you. But I'll leave him to explain this better. Your brothers and sisters will follow you. Be well, Zachariah. Feel like I got ripped off. Dandolo had planned everything from the start. The costumes, the rover repair, and he even let Victor settle down without a word. All of that just to organize a fake meeting. 
What did I tell ya? A douchebag with real nice clothes is still a douchebag. Even though he totally fucked us over, I gotta say, what you just did back there, real classy. Victor the Dictor's probably having a little tantrum. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing, Ilya. Go south, my people's refuge isn't far away. But you have to know where to look, or you'd never be the wiser. What's it like? Magical city hidden away in a floaty island or something? Nothing like that. It's a valley, or perhaps more accurately, a crater. There is vegetation there unlike anywhere else. Truly something you've never seen before. A secret place that's one of a kind? What the fuck are we waiting for? I wonder, how does your valley, city, state, whatever you call it, work? How's the ecosystem? Do you all take turns farming? And is there a monarch? I, I mean, do you have princes? Or do you have a people's assembly, like abundance? We avoid centralizing power, so we have orators. Orators come from the people and speak for the people. And if majority rules, then the decision is accepted. As we get larger, we will need a chief, especially in times of conflict. But it will be up to the people to elect a candidate. We're used to not being welcome wherever I go, but this place, won't we be despised for who we are? After what they've all been through, the grudges they hold against mankind, are more than understandable. But I'm worried, Phobos. Will your support be enough to grant us safe passage? I believe so, but I'll also need to ask for Scum's support. He's our best orator, so as long as he's on board, it won't be a problem. Farewell, Noctis. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way. I'm sorry, Nisha. Stop. It's not your fault. It's Victor's. I just hope I can come home soon. You can do your business here, but you cannot enter the valley. No human is allowed there. There must be a way to make an exception. Sorry, Phobos. You know that I respect you, but I am following orders. To be honest with you, it is for your friend's safety. I do not know how they would welcome them in there. Maybe if another speaker supported them. I will go see Scum. I managed to see him. He offered me something. Scum is an important figure here, one of the great speakers. People listen to him. If he supports you, you will be able to get in without being lynched. But he wants you to prove yourself by helping a group of mutants. From what he hears, a group of mutants have escaped a labor camp. They have not arrived here, though, so he fears they have found trouble. We will need to find them and see what has gone wrong. Bring them safely to the valley, and you will not only earn their support, but scums as well. Quite the asset. All right. Do we know how they were supposed to get here? The shortest and safest route to take is the canyon, right here. Let's go see what happened to them. Wow, we Roll up a fucking red carpet, why don't you? Don't hold it against them. These are mutants who escaped slavery and abuse. It makes sense that they aren't completely pleased that their torturers have come up to their doorstep. Fuck that. I never tortured anyone. Never made one of them my slave. But you lived in the system that allowed it. Like all of us. Except Phobos, of course. 